time of redemption, you will live the same life. But all the aspects will shine. You won't have problems anymore. You will eat what you desire. You will want something, you will find it. You will be hungry, there's going to be a meal in front of your eyes being set on the table with happy waiters to come and serve you and not fake waiters. There are people that their desire, that their love is to serve food. You have waiters from birth. People that born to that, that's their joy. Like that you have truck drivers that you will never gonna go and drive a truck, but for them it's life. You have people that loves to drive motorcycles. You have people that loves to build houses. Really that's their desire. They feel connected to the stones. They like to, 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 to stir the cement. They like to build. They see that. They design cities. They like those things. It's not your job to like those things. Your job is to find who you are. And in the time of redemption, you will be playing your role in the time of redemption. When you will go to the grocery store, you're going to go and take whatever you need. The person in the grocery store will be happy to give it to you because that's his life. He's a born to be manager store. He loves that work. He's been built and created for that. He likes it. That's what he wants to do. And he will do it with joy. And you will do your job with joy. When he will have an event and he will want a DJ for his son's bar mitzvah, he will contact you and you will be happy to go and celebrate because that's your love. To make people happy and to play exactly the music that they like and you like to see their faces. And that grocery store manager can do that because it's not him. He has a different role. And you need to believe in yours and to allow yourself to be that one. And when the redemption will take place, you will be who you meant to be. And everything will go smooth. Everything will go perfectly right. There's going to be a complete harmony between all the particles and creations of the world. Everything will work together. All the animals will smile, will be positive, will work with us together. If you like the sea, in the time of redemption, you're going to go to the sea. The ocean will show that the Creator is the Creator of the world. If you will want to go into the water and that the water will move to the side, it will move for you with no problem. If you will want and desire to see a dolphin, there's going to be a dolphin that waits for you on the shore that is already welcoming you into the water. If you want to play tennis, you'll see tennis courts. Everything that your heart will desire will be in front of you, served on a silver plate corresponding to your divine desire, to your holy will. Everything, your sunglasses will suit you perfectly. Everything you will want, you will have it on your plate. And that's how the Creator will reveal His complete loving kindness, the ideal desire of the Creator to create the worlds for. For us to recognize His godliness. And you know how much time we're going to enjoy that prosperity, that bounty? For thousand years of Shabbat. It will be perfect for thousand years. And you know what? We not gonna die. Because death will disappear from the world. No one will die anymore. There will be no more poverty, no more sorrow, no more illnesses, no more sicknesses, no more death. Bula mavet la netzach vivula mavet la netzach. The death will disappear. Everyone will stay alive. And you know what's more than that? The resurrection of the dead. You will walk with your ancestors. You will walk with generations that disappeared from earth. You're going to see Jacob and Isaac and Sarah and Miriam the prophet and Esther the queen and Mordechai the Jew. You're going to see all them around you all the time. And all the nations will call Hashem. 
and all the wide world will walk to Jerusalem and the temple will be built and we will all be able to see it and we will all gonna call Hashem in His name and Hashem will reveal His face to us. So tell me if those religious ones that are talking and talking and talking and talking are living in this dimension that we were just expressing. If they really believe in Hashem or that they gave up on it and they just chose to learn or to follow and obey or to be slaves in any aspect of that word. I'm not a slave of no one. I'm not doing things because I'm scared. I'm keeping Shabbat for one reason, because I want to. If I wouldn't want to keep Shabbat, trust me, trust my word, I wouldn't do it. I'm eating kosher because I want to eat kosher. If I would want to eat something else, I would go and eat whatever I want. I'm not working for no one. That's me. I'm keeping Shabbat and I'm eating kosher and I'm celebrating the Jewish holidays and I'm putting tefillin Rashi and Rabbeinu Tam and I'm sitting and teaching my children Mishnah and Gemara and Torah and Prophets and all the scripts and I'm teaching people and I'm wearing tzitzit and I am. And I'm doing whatever I can only because I want to. No one person in the world is forcing me to do those things and especially not Hashem. And if you will ask me, I will tell you the truth. I never felt pressure from heaven ever in my life. I never felt pressured by heaven to be observant. I was only offered. People are pushing. People, horrible. But the Creator is loving and patient. And He is offering and suggesting and always trying to give me the understanding of the greatness of those ones that will follow His advice and those amazing recommendations. But never push, never force. And all those downs and all those difficulties and all those judgments that we're experiencing in life are only tests, are only challenges that are challenging our mindset to ask you what you really desire. Are you a truth seeker or that you're looking for comfort? Are you here to work and to sacrifice your laziness and your bad attributes or that you're here to whine and to complain and always to find a reason to be negative? If you want to be positive and strong, you will find it like diamonds all over the place. Every situation you're going to learn from. You're going to be educated from every life experience. In every moment you're going to experience development and growth. And that's eternal life that you can start living already while you live and captured inside a physical body. You can start living like we are about to live in the redemption day. Eternal life. You can start it right now. If you're going to follow my advice right now and going to start living your life like that, like it's already redemption day, you're not going to die. I promise you, we're all not going to die. We're going to live forever. You remember that song, right? From Fame. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to learn how to die. If you enjoyed this video very much, Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.